welcome back to Lily and Rose. My name is Summer Noel, and today I'm going to teach you how to apply a decal with the wet method. So the wet method is actually really handy when you need to be able to place it, and it's a big decal. I'm going to do this big. I'm just putting Queen Bee on this cup just for fun, just to show you guys. It's going to be a big decal. It's going to go this way. Um, the benefit of the wet method is that you can kind of play with it and move it around a little bit if you need to. It also really helps you to avoid getting those air bubbles and air pockets inside and behind the decal. Um, so it's really, really, really simple. The main things that you need are a little squirt bottle. This is from one of the packs from the dollar store. Um, it comes, I think, three or four per pack. I just put some water in here and about four drops of soap. You can see the bubbles there um, from the dish soap. Um, this is just four squirt little drops of Dawn dish soap. Then you're gonna be need uh, the paper transfer tape, guys. So paper transfer tape is very similar to what we use with the plastic, but when you do the wet method, you need to use the paper. That way it allows the water to be to come out from underneath it and kind of almost evaporate. Um, you can do it with the plastic um, uh, transfer tape, but it's not as easy, you guys. It's a lot easier with this paper. So I will have a link for this. It's really inexpensive. It's actually cheaper than the regular transfer tape. So I will have a link for that. Um, and you can see you use it just like regular transfer tape. It doesn't have a backing. So you just stick it on, get what you need, and then uh, you can kind of see it. Now, the problem with doing the wet method with the paper is that you can't see what you're sticking it to. But once you get this wet and you stick this down, then you will actually be able to see through it and you will actually be able to move it around. So um, you need also need a squeegee. So this is going to be, I call these a squeegee. And this is just to help press and push all the water out from and be, behind it. So what you do is you're going to shake this up, make sure that soap is really, really uh, mixed up inside your water. And we're going to just spray the cup. Make sure it's nice and wet. Okay. Then we are going to take our Queen Bee sticker. And I'm going to see. And I'm going to lay it down right here. So see, as you, the water hits it, you can actually start seeing through the paper a lot better. So we're just gonna press that down, get it on there. And then we're gonna take our squeegee and we're gonna rub it really, really well. Now, if you need to replace this before you rub it, I can see that I got it in exactly where I wanted. But if you need to move it, you can still move it and slide it around. Now, because I've squeegeed it, it is now stuck down. And we're just gonna squeegee out the water out from behind the decal. But if you had it and you realize, oh, it's a little crooked, you could just, before you squeegee it down, just re-lift it up and remove it around and then you can but once you've squeegeed it that decal is going to stick so you can see it's stuck down it come right off the paper just gonna make sure okay Boop. and just like that this is just another way that I apply I made little queen bee cup here um, that's what my team calls me queen bee uh, for my Facebook group. It's kind of fun. So I just made myself a little cup. Um, so it's just very simple. Uh, this is a hydro dip cup. I know I'm probably going to get asked questions about it. If you don't know how to hydro dip, just jump up on my channel, click on literally in rows that will take you to all my YouTubes that I do. Um, and you will find a tutorial. It's called hydro dipping on how to make a stainless steel tumbler look like this. You can also work with glass or plastic. Um, it's kind of open for everything. So I'm going to let this just completely dry in front of a fan, but you saw how super duper easy that was guys. Um, to apply that. These, that also works for working on your keychains, on your molds, all that. Anytime you're applying a decal, if you have to apply a decal to the back of a car, I 100% recommend the wet method. It's just very simple. It's just soapy water, a squeegee, the paper, uh, transfer paper, and that's it. So if you're doing a large decal on a car, the wet method is always the way to go. Um, once you've squeegeed that water out, it's, because it is permanent outdoor vinyl, it will stick just fine. Um, you don't even necessarily need to uh, cover it with the epoxy, but we want it to be very, very uh, durable and very permanent. So we will go ahead and epoxy over the top of this one. Um, but that is it, guys. It's just that easy for the wet method. Again, you just need the paper transfer tape, the bottle of water with the few little drops of Dawn soap in it. The Dawn soap is what makes it so there's more... Uh, it's easier to slide it around if you need to, and then the squeegee, and that's to get the water out from behind the, the decal. All right, guys, that's a short and sweet, easy little video. I hope you learned something good, and we will see you on the next tutorial.